Butterflies and this video is going to be my 2018 goals. So for this video, it's going to be my reading goals and my just like goals in general. And at first, I wasn't going to do this video because I'm like, everybody is doing this video, okay? And then I started thinking, well, I do have goals, so I'm just going to, you know, make the video anyway. Whoever wants to watch it is going to watch it, and whoever don't, is not going to look on it because it's going to be pretty obvious what it's about. So first, I'm going to talk about my reading goals, which my goals are pretty, you know, attainable. It's just really stuff I want to challenge myself more to do. It's not anything like out of the box that like everybody says this, okay? It's, it's personal. So my first goal I have is I want to read more classics this year. I don't know if everybody says that, but I don't want to read like a classic every month. I just want to read at least three classics this year. I read a couple last year. I read um, A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. And I read the hell other classic that I read last year. I read another. I read another one. I can't remember what the hell it was, but um, I really enjoyed *A Midsummer Night Dream*. So I do want to read more of those because those were really good. It was, in, it was in a play, but it was really quick, so I enjoyed that. But also, I want to read more manga this year too. And I've been saying that. Uh, it's just because it's like I love reading graphic novels, so now I kind of want to venture into the manga side which I tried like years ago to read manga but I really think I was too young and I didn't understand like how to read manga like I had to be like really really young when I tried to read it at first and I just started off with a bad experience and I never went back to it so now like, I'm old I'm like I want to try it again at least one just to try it again to see if I like it and I have seen some really good recommendations for if you're trying to get into it so we'll see um, I don't know when I'm gonna, you know, try it, but that is something I do want to try because I like to read a little bit of all genres because, like, I, I'm a very eclectic reader. I read a little bit of everything, so I can't say I read a little bit of everything if I don't truly read a little bit of everything, you know? Then the next goal that I have is I would like to read all of the books that I have requested from NetGalley. I have banned myself from requesting books from NetGalley until further notice. Like, I have so many books that I requested last year that I wasn't realizing that I was going to actually get that came out around the exact same time. So, my goal this year is to get through all of the books that I haven't gotten through that I got last year and completely just clear it off of my shelves and I can get that out of the way. I don't think it's a bad goal. But I, I need to, because I, I don't want to request books and then not read them. So I want to get through all of those at some point this year, okay? I just think I'm going to start reading, like, a book or two off of those every month added to my TBR. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it because I need to. Then my next goal is to read all of, like, the older books on my shelf. Because I have some books that have been on my shelf for years. Like, I have books that I have had on my shelf since before I started BookTube. And I've been on BookTube for two years that I haven't picked up. And I need to. Either I need to read them or I need to take them off my shelf and give them away. Because either I'm going to read them or I'm not. And some of them, I go, I'm looking at them and I'm just like, I don't really think I'm interested in you anymore. But I'm going to go through those, maybe read a couple chapters. And if I want to, I'll keep it. If not, I'll like give it away or something. But um, that is something I need to do because we're going to be moving again. And I don't want to be bringing books that I know I'm not going to read. Then the next thing that I have that I want to do is... I would like to do more buddy reads this year because I did my first one last year and it was so much fun like buddy reading is so much fun and like it keeps you like on track with actually keeping up with reading every day especially when you set a goal that you guys are going to discuss like every five chapters to every ten chapters and you don't want to fall behind because then it's like well I'm waiting for you and you haven't read it yet where are you I haven't talked to you in three days so that was a good motivation. I had a lot of fun buddy reading and I would like to do more buddy reads this um, year, especially with books that I don't really want to read by myself. I would love to do that. I think I would have a lot of fun doing that. Then this is the goal that I had every year. I would love to turn at least one person this year to the dark side. I want to take them over to this side and just make them a bookworm. Like I want to get at least one person that doesn't read much into reading. Okay, now my goal last year failed. I was supposed to get my brother into reading more, but that didn't happen. I haven't given up on him. He's just a tough nut to crack. So 
I don't know if I'm going to try on him this year or someone else, but Jesus is going to show me the way. I'm going to turn at least one person into a bookworm by the end of this year. That is my goal. Every year, to turn at least one person. So we'll see. My next goal is I want to pick from my jar, from my Raven Clarice jar, more often this year. Like, I just started this last year and I only picked once. I want to pick at least every other month from this jar. I just... I just, I, I don't know what happened last year. This is like on my mind. I had all these other books I wanted to read. I wasn't thinking about this jar. But I definitely want to read more out of that jar. And pick more out of my Raven Claw Reads jar so I can turn it into something else when I'm done. So that's another goal. And then my last goal, my last reading goal that I have is I would like to try to read Why a Contemporary Romance. I want to try to give it another chance. Y'all know this is like a genre that I'm just, I really have like done away with because I just don't like mushy. And that's usually what I get all the time. It's mushy and just unrealistic shit that is like too perfect that I'm just like, I don't do that. So I'm going to try it one more time. And I think I'm going to do it with um, like, I don't know if the series, the trilogy, uh, the Summer I Turn Pretty. I don't know if that's one of them. I'm going to have to check. But I do have that on my, on my shelf with all three of them in a bind up. We're gonna try one more time, people, and we're gonna see if we can get this together. If not, then I know we're done, but I'm gonna try it one more time, okay? Now I'm gonna drift into my general goals, which to me, like I said, I'm trying not to do anything that I know I'm not gonna do. I wanna actually try to do goals that I know I'm gonna push myself to do. My first goal is I want to go back to school this year. Um, that's been my goal for like the last two years. I looked at this year and be like, that's the year I'm going to try to go back to school like during the fall. So we'll see. That is like one of my goals because I went to school for medical assistance and I just haven't found a job in it. So it's like, it's to the point where I have given up looking for a job in it because it's like everybody that's hiring wants people to have at least a year or three years experience. And it's like, how am I going to ever get experience if no one hires me? So on that note, I've kind of stopped looking for medical assistant jobs. I'm like, I should just go back to school and just, I don't know why I didn't do that first and just take the long way trying to take shortcuts. So we're just going to go back to school, okay? And I'm thinking I'm just going to go to school for nursing. I didn't want to do nursing because my big goal was to go to school to be a doctor. Because everybody always says nurses do all the work and doctors get all the money. So I'm like, why would I do all the work when I could be a doctor and get all the money? You know, I'm like, I could be the big boss, but I'm just like, you know what? Um, I'm just, I want a career, people. Like, I don't just want a job. I want a career. I want to be in my field, you know, that I've been working so hard for. So instead of me wasting money on going to school for things that I'm not going to get a job in, I might as well pay the money and just go to school and so I can really get a job in my field. Then my second goal for this year is I really want to advance in one of my hobbies. And I say one of because there's a lot of things that I'm like, oh, I want to do. And I'm like buying stuff to do it and then don't do it. One of those things is actually get lessons to play the guitar. I bought a guitar like years ago. Okay, so I'm like, I want to learn how to play guitar. My plan was I was going to YouTube learn. And yeah, that's not working out. I'm not one of those people. I actually need like face-to-face -face, like classes because I need you to tell me as I'm doing it. Am I doing this right and what I'm doing wrong and how to fix it? Versus looking at a video with somebody that can't hear me and can't tell me what's wrong. So I want to either like get lessons in guitar or get sewing lessons because I bought a sewing machine. Like, and I was going to YouTube learn how to sew and that's not going well either. So, or I can go and I want to go get some sewing lessons or crocheting which I ain't gonna lie I have tried to crochet but with these YouTube videos like with the crocheting it's like they don't go through the whole project with you they go through like the first three rows and then I'm trying to make a scarf and it always comes after the third row it's like it always like start turning into like a an uneven blanket and I'm just I'm probably gonna give up on crocheting period and just try to focus on guitar or sewing or in my mind I also wanted to learn how to paint so I bought like this easel set and stuff, like to like a beginning paint set. I was like, I wanted to learn how to paint, and I thought I was going to YouTube learn with that too. That's not going to happen. So we're going to leave that alone. But um, I want to get lessons in, in one of those to try to advance in one of my hobbies, to actually do one of my hobbies. Um, yeah, I don't think that's a bad goal. I think that's something I need to do instead of having all these half-assed finished projects. Then the next goal I have, which may be a surprising goal since I'm 20 fucking one, is to get my driver's license. 
And yes, I drive. I know how to drive, but I don't have a driver's license. So I need to get my driver's license. That's probably gonna be something that's gonna be handled before March. Because my next to watch that is to get my own car, which is my goal to do before I go back to school so that I can drive myself to and from the school in my own car and I gotta worry about is somebody gonna drive me off or am I gonna be able to use somebody's car. I wanna have my own wheels <laughs> and my own driver's license. Those are very obtainable goals, which with those goals aren't really an option this year. Those are mandatory. That's what's gonna happen. I've been like pushing stuff off for way too long and making excuses for way too long. Then my next goal is a goal that's kind of cliche and that is I want to exercise more. And I know everybody says that but I, I don't mean like go to the gym. I mean like just something simple. Like I love to do yoga. I have my own yoga mat. I do yoga at home. I did yoga while I was pregnant. I love yoga. So either I want to do yoga more this year because I did kind of like fade out with the yoga after I had clear. I want to do either like do more yoga often. Like I'm not saying every day either maybe like three times a week or something like find time to do yoga because yoga is very relaxing or just do something like some quick like something quick workout you know go take a walk or like you know like some push-ups squats something like that you know sit up just something simple I'm not saying I want to go to the gym every day that's not what I'm saying just something to keep my body active you know then my next goal is kind of a couple's goal um, I want to have more date nights it's like since we had Kalea we haven't had many date nights before we had Kalea, we used to try to have a date night at least like every other week. It like even if it was just like going to the movies or going out to eat, like it was just something. Like even if it was just like to take a walk in the park, like it was something. And so it's like we haven't really had many date nights since we had Kalea. We probably have had like maybe two or three dates nights, and she's a year old. So I would like to go back to having a date night every other week. You know, it's not, you know, it's not like we spend like a ton of money and go out of town or something. Just something simple. So that's another goal for this year is to make time for each other, you know. Then my next goal is to try to get a promotion in my current job. Even though this isn't where I would think I was going to be, I do like this job. Um, I kind of wanted to be in my career mode right now, but I'm not. But that's okay, I'll get there. But while I'm while I'm in the, at the job that I'm in, I would like to try to get a promotion of some sort where I am. I think that's a good goal for everybody to have when you're working. If you want to move up the ladder, even though it's not somewhere I want to stay and make it a career, I still, while I'm here, I want to move up the chain to be like, when I left, I was here. I was at this point. So that is the very goal for everybody to have if you're working. You want to uh, progress. You don't want to stay in the same area. And my second to last goal is to really work on my temper because you guys might not know this, but I can go from zero to a hundred like that. Like the smallest thing would take me from here to here. So um, and it's you know what? It's not as bad as it used to be. Um, I've gotten a lot better with it. I just I get set off really fast. So I've really been trying to work on not letting things take me there like that. So this year I want to work on it more so people could really say I don't really have a temper because if you talk to my family they will tell you I have a temper. You guys wouldn't believe it. No one that just met me would believe it. But if you like know me, I I do go from 0 to 100 really fast and I'm working on it guys. It's not as bad as it used to be. Trust me, I'm working on it. And then my last goal is kind of a funny goal and it is to learn how to swim. I don't know how to swim guys like a lot of people in my family while well, my mom's side of the family don't learn didn't learn how to swim we don't go near water but my fiance learns knows how to swim so he's gonna teach me and we do have a pool at our apartment I'm just I'm just embarrassed to try to learn how to swim if there are like a lot of people at the pool because I had tried to learn how to swim before and it wasn't the prettiest thing so I kind of just want to learn how to swim when there's no one there like it's just us and I will be more relaxed but I definitely want to learn how to swim because my fiance wants to take like cruises and I'm just like I'm not getting on a boat because I don't know how to swim. If something like Titanic was to go on, I would drown. Like I would die. I wouldn't even be able to fight for my life. Like I would die the second I hit the water. I need to learn how to swim before I get in any kind of boat. So sorry, sweetheart, but it's not happening. Like. So, it's like, I do want to take cruises, but I don't because I don't know how to swim. And it's like, their fear of drowning is there if I'm in a big body of water. So, 
I want to learn how to swim. I'm going to learn how to swim. The second it gets warm and the pool opens again, I'm going to learn how to swim, people. Like, I can't wait to check that off of my list and I'm going to come back and tell y'all because I'm like, I'm going to be so proud of myself. I know I am. So, um, yeah, that is all of my goals for 2018, bookish and non-bookish. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. If you have any goals you want to discuss with me, please leave them down below. If there's any common goals we have, leave that down below too and let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.